everybody. It's Tyler here at launch checking in with 16610A. It's Snacky Cakes. And this is now, I'm just going to call it the new super meta robot that's coming out right now because so many teams have been inspired by this robot uh, throughout the season. But there's some cool new additions that you're going to need to check out as well, too. This team hasn't competed since MOA, and where they uh, won that, also won skills as well, too. And they are absolutely rocking it here at launch. So, of course, we're going to dive into all the great things that go into this robot. Make sure you pay attention as we go through some things in regards to their programming as well, and maybe a little bit on strategy that we'll dive into here on Pits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Build your alliance and discover why so many VEX alumni choose Kettering University. Every student at Kettering experiences their cutting-edge co-op programs that seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds. Kettering co-ops are a fully immersive working experience at the leading edge of industry. Head on over to kettering.edu slash VEX to learn more about their incredible programs and get more information. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROT, Girl powered scholarships, certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. Oh, and let's hop right into this robot, go a little bit ground up for me. Let's talk about the drivetrain, then we're going to jump into some of your scoring as well. Okay, sure. So I'll jump into the drivetrain here. We're running 450 RPM, six motors on 3.25 inch wheels, and we also have traction wheels and they prevent any horizontal pushing. And we also put the traction wheel kind of near the front of a robot because that is like the position where most pushing happens when you're scoring on the long goals. Okay, so pretty simple, but now I'll move on to our intake design. So our intake design is the same that we had at the Mall of America Signature event, and that is an S-shaped intake design. So we were able to hold around eight to nine blocks and um, yeah, we can score them all on the long goal, middle goal, low goal. So I will now demonstrate um, the intake loading. So what happens when we load is when we press the intake button, the wings are actually gonna come up and this rig on hood is gonna drop down and that's gonna act as our intake stopper. So press that. So now we've loaded three blocks and it has two options to where it can now score. So it can either score on the top goal, on the long goal, if these rollers spin this way, or it can score on the middle goal if the rollers spin the opposite way. So I'll just demonstrate long goal scoring right now. And then there's the other option of middle goal scoring where the uh, balls go the other direction. So here. And this just really keeps everything nice and like uh, integrated, where we can have just the direction of the motor determining which goal we score on. Coming in from uh, Mall of America, be your last man. That was you know already what three months ago as we're going in. Has your math strategy changed at all here at uh, uh, launch? Um, so we definitely saw at Mall of America, it, the strategy was kind of filling the long goals as much as possible and gaining points that way. But at this tournament, what we've been seeing is that there's a lot of wing play where they use their wings to de-score many blocks. And we find that the scores are actually lower now here at this event than at Mall of America. So one of the big strategies that I think we're trying to emphasize this tournament is to do the double park because that's an automatic 30 points. And that will be really huge in these low scoring games. I think it's a great segue to go to Jay to talk more about the wings and the double park as well too. So break down more on uh, how they're functioning here for you at launch. Yeah, sure, definitely. So as, as soon as we saw a uh, pushback release, we saw those slots open in the long goal and we immediately thought of creating some sort of wing mechanism so we could help push our blocks into the control zone as well as de-score opponent blocks. So as you, see, can, as you can see here, we have two wings which are actuated by these pistons and they can, um, Go into those, uh, go into the slots in the long goal, and then push our blocks um, into the control. You might notice that our wings aren't as long as um, some other teams who have their wings like all the way out here. But the reason for that is because uh, these smaller wings help us align or help us get into the long goal easier, and they're also um, they're also better as they don't get caught in, uh, when we're driving around the field. Next, I can talk about the double park mechanism. So this is a mechanism um, that we developed. Uh, before MOA and during our ELAM matches we tried to double park um, um, in every one of the final matches 
as it, as it gave us that 30 point boost, um, which really helped us like get the win. You can do a quick demonstration. So, yeah. So we have a macro that if you click one button, it um, automatically outtakes the ball very slowly up to when this uh, distance sensor, you can see right here, distance sensor um, detects the block. And then um, we have this um, two pistons here, which push down and then lift the robot up. So it's all really well integrated. So when Owen's no driving and double parking, you can just click one button and the macro automatically uh, parks the bot. Were there any changes to your double park Mac from all of America? Um, it's stayed pretty much uh, the same. Um, but Giant can talk about some of the other changes we made. Sure. One yeah. other thing I just want to ask you too from uh, Matt strategy wise, what does the timing look like for you to do double park? Is it very based on the alliance partner or are you like, hey, at X amount of seconds, we're doing it no matter what? Yeah, so double park is worth 30 points. So it's a really significant amount. But if, our, if the opponent descores our long goal and gets a control bonus, it's even more. So we have to really manage that timing. Um, and make sure we can double secure that double park without allowing our opponents to de completely descore our long goal. So we try to double park around when there's five seconds left in the match. So we first tell our teammates to go and clear the park, uh, clear the park zone, and then park themselves in. And then we come around like five seconds and then quickly come from the side and um, activate our double park mechanism. Jay, I want to talk about the mid goal scoring uh, on your robot and how that functions as well too. Uh, you know, as we as this game continues to evolve strategy-wise, we're seeing more and more control over those mid goals as well. So how does Snacky Kicks approach that aspect on your team? Yeah, uh, of course. So the first thing I want to show you guys is um, this. This is a m higher middle goal D score. It's pretty straightforward, operated by Piston. All we do is hit the balls on the middle goal, and they will just fall out the other side. And it's pretty neat that what we used to score on those middle goals is right next to it. So these two movements can be done like really quickly, one next to the other. And uh, the other neat thing that I want to show is uh, the lifting of our intake. It's held up by 25 millimeter pistons right behind the match loader here. And uh, what it does is since we score lower middle goal by just spewing out what the bot has already gobbled in, um, we lift it so that it's a lot smoother and this really, you know, this is a big help, especially in skills when everything needs to be done fast. And these two are, uh, they're pretty simple mechanisms, but you know, in this case, simpler is more effective. And uh, it's a small change to the bot, but it's a big improvement to the quality of life of our performance. I really want to jump into uh, some of the code and sensors on your robot as well. And Stuart, you're going to talk more about that. Uh, you know, Snacky Cakes just overall has been so dominant on the field. I know a lot of it is attributed uh, to uh, what you have done from the code side of things. So let's jump more into what makes it so special on your team. Yeah. So starting on the drivetrain, we use odometry. Uh, we have a uh, tracking wheel attached state rotation sensor. And we also have a uh, gyro to determine our direction. And using those information, we use the library lemlib, so we can uh, map out our autonomous path and know where we are at all times during autonomous. However, um, what makes our auton so consistent is uh, the additional sensor usage on top of that. So we use three distance sensors over here, and we use that to look at the field walls and reset our uh, position in that axis and this eliminates the drift we accumulate over our skills run and just makes our auton more consistent. And some other quality of life um, usage of sensors, uh, for example, is this color sensor up here which we use to color sort. So since we can, since our scoring for both high goal and uh, middle goal is done with this roller, when we want to score on the long goal and we want to color sort, we can just spin, the, spin it in the other direction and it'll, it'll be able to color sort it. So here we have a demonstration. So yeah, that's actually really nice. Uh, even if we don't match though perfectly our color, the driver can still just go up and score. And as well, we also have, uh, as Jay mentioned, we have sensor usage down here for the double park, which also makes the driver's life a lot easier. I just want to run back real quick to autonomous. What is it like? A, what's your primary or typical autonomous run actually look like on the field? So this highly depends on our alliance. So we have a solo AWP, which uh, picks up blocks on our side as well as their side and score on uh, a long goal and two of the middle goals. Uh, however, sometimes, especially in ELIMS, 
will run an auton that grabs the three on our side, the two under the long goal, the mash out, and score some of them in the middle goal and some in the long goal. And uh, this just allows us to be really well prepared going into Tele Up. Oh, and before I wrap up here, I got to ask you, you know, as, as a team I think has been so inspirational uh, to the V5 community out there, can you just describe a little bit of, you know, you as a team, like, I mean, it's got to be extremely fulfilling to be able to see so many other teams take inspiration from what you've done as well, too. Can you just tell me a little more about that? Yeah. Um, first of all, like, we would just like to thank everyone who has supported us on our journey so far. And, like, so far this season has just been, like, a dream come true for us. Like, after the Mall of America signature, signature event, we've seen robot designs that were inspired by ours, and it's honestly one of the greatest feeling our team has ever felt. So we're just so grateful of that. Yeah, and it, obviously I think you're going to continue to do that as you uh, go throughout the season and find new ways to tackle this challenge as well too. So Snacky Cakes, thank you so much. We can't wait to see, of course, how you do here at launch, but we're already going to see you at Vex Worlds for sure, so we can't wait to bump into you back there as well too. Good luck the rest of the way, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. Build your alliance and discover why so many VEX alumni choose Kettering University. Every student at Kettering experiences their cutting-edge co-op programs that seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds. Kettering co-ops are a fully immersive working experience at the leading edge of industry. Head on over to kettering.edu vex to learn more about their incredible programs and get more information.